Well, the rewards that I get out of the work uh, are, are multiple. Um, it's very satisfying to see something. In fact, I was just saying um, earlier today to a client that in the last few months, for whatever reason, a lot of the goals that I've been working on with some private clients have all come in in the space of four months in different contexts. And some of those goals would have been set five years ago, and some of them would be set maybe you know three, three to five years ago. And it is very, very satisfying to see it all happen. And, and when it does happen in the way it's happened, certainly in the, in the last while, it kind of makes you think maybe anything is possible. So on a personal level, it's very satisfying to see something that we decided together, let's make it happen. And then it happens, and in most cases against the odds, didn't have a clue how to do it. So that's very satisfying and encouraging. And I've seen that multiple times over my career to date and personally, uh, where you think, well, how am I going to do this? But the how isn't as important as the what you want to do and why you want to do it. And that's, that's, that's very satisfying. But then also on a personal side, um, what's very fulfilling for me as an individual is to see the impact that we make with people and their relationships, on their health, um, on taking time off, um, and still the business thrives. Um, and then just to hear the feedback coming back. So, yeah, it's, 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 I'm very lucky in terms of that. I, I get challenging work uh, with professionals, but also it's very fulfilling in terms of personal fulfillment. One good story with a client that stands out um, for obvious reasons at the moment is that uh, I've got one client who, uh, I suppose, has been nominated for an Entrepreneur of the Year Award um, recently. And if you'd met the client five years ago, I think everybody, including him, would have doubted that that was possible because uh, five years ago, he was literally a few weeks from going out of business, uh, was struggling mentally, uh, was under high stress, and his personal situation was very difficult, but his business situation was extremely difficult. And we didn't, he didn't see a way out at the time. And I always remember when, when I met him for the first time, um, I said to him, you know, based on where he was at, I didn't know if we could solve the problems around him. All I said to him was, look, we're going to work on your mindset for the next month. We're not going to talk about the business. And he was like, well, why? Like, what about the business? And what I realized was that this guy was a talented entrepreneur who just had gotten into a negative spiral mentally. And I knew that if I could help him reset on his mind, that he would naturally then start to see things. And that's what happened. And, you know, I remember there was one week where he had to let 10 people go. He was down to 10 staff. Um, I, he called himself Black Friday the day he let them all go. And <clears throat> But we've, we've worked on every aspect of his mental game and then also the outer game. So once he was reset and there was fight back in his belly and his energy just completely changed, we then looked at things like strategy, uh, prioritization, cash flows, putting in systems, processes, marketing, um, selling strategy uh, and structure. But it was a combination of the inner game and outer game. And you can see the kind of what I'm talking about there is there was no point doing the outer game until this inner game is right, get the inner game right, then we can look at the outer game and it becomes much more effective and powerful. Um, and just he's just kept on, because he's a talented guy and a hungry guy for growth, just kept on building his business. There was acquisitions, uh, there was a lot of change, there was serious challenges even along the way. But he just had this now inner resilience in himself because of what he'd gone through and what he'd learned. And even today, if you say to him, you know, what were the top lessons he learned? He said, just, he would keep saying his mindset and he just keeps saying, you have to work on it. It doesn't just, it's like going to the gym. You know, if you know what to do, it's not enough. You have to keep working on it. And even for me, that's a very inspiring story. story. So, so today, this guy now lives in his dream house. He drives his dream car. He goes on more holidays than he's ever had in his life. He's got more money in the bank than he's ever had before and it keeps growing. He's getting nominated for awards, like I mentioned. And uh, so when you get that kind of result, you kind of go, wow, maybe I need to even up my game. <laughs>